Hey, what exactly is psychology? Did you ever wonder? The word psychology comes from ancient Greek. It literally means the systematic study of the mind and the soul. Well, we don't do that exactly anymore. Today, we think of psychology more as a scientific discipline. So this video is about psychology. Well, the most common definition of psychology today is the science, yeah, it's a science, of behavior, meaning behavior means what people do, and mental processes. That means stuff going on in your mind. So the science of two different things, behavior and mental processes. By science, we don't mean a particular subject, we mean the methods that are used to study something. In the sciences, we use empirical methods. Empirical means that you can measure it, you can observe it, you can all agree on it. We're gonna measure something, we all agree on it. So psychology today uses a scientific approach to measure and study two different things. Behavior, that means anything that an animal does. Yeah, I said animal, that includes human beings. So I'm using the word animal in a biological way. So we study lower animals and humans, and we study their behavior, meaning what they do. And this means your body movements, but also behaviors that go on inside your body, like your heartbeat or your brain waves. That's behavior. We also in psychology are a science of mental processes. This is more difficult because it's harder to study the mind, and you have to study other things and make conclusions about the mind. So Mental processes includes things like paying attention, uh, perceiving the world, perception, memory, thinking, emotions, and so on. So psychology tries to be the science using empirical methods of both behavior and mental processes. Here you see what is called the pyramid of sciences, which looks at sciences that are related to living things, like how do we explain life? Uh, and at the very bottom of the pyramid, we have physics, which is the oldest of the sciences, and it studies the most, the smallest uh, uh, particles in the universe and the physical laws. Building on top of that is chemistry, which studies how the particles come together to make elements and chemical reactions and so on. And on top of that is biology, which studies living things. And on top of that, psychology, which focuses on studying the individual. And then when you put individuals together into groups and study them, that's sociology. And when you study all of humankind and animal kind, that's anthropology. So you see where psychology sits in the pyramid of sciences. Psychology is a complicated word because it can mean different things. For example, sometimes when we say a psychologist, we're talking about a person who does therapy or counseling. Technically, this is called clinical psychology. Uh, also, we can mean by psychologist, a person who does scientific research. So the person on the right here, for example, is studying the memory uh, using the little white rat uh, in a, a, what is called a Morris maze, a water maze. Uh, and so that's scientific research. So psychologist could be a therapist or a counselor, but also could be a scientific uh, researcher. Here's another way to think about the word psychology. It has at least these three different groups that are included in psychology. One, the scientific psychologists. So you can study cognition, you can study neuroscience, you can study development, you can study social psychology or personality. And then secondly, we have the clinical psychologists. They do therapy and counseling, for example. That's what most people think of as a psychologist. And then third, we have applied psychologists like 
school psychologists or IO, that means industrial, organizational, or educational, and so on. So we have these like three uh, groupings, three different categories that we could put people into, all called psychologists. What is the difference between a psychologist and a psychiatrist? Well, you know, psychiatrists don't always work with patients. A lot of psychologists are scientists who do experiments. A lot of psychologists are applied workers who work in schools or businesses or industry. There are psychologists who have similar jobs to a psychiatrist. They're called clinical psychologists. But the difference is a psychiatrist is a field of medicine. So to be a psychiatrist, you have to go to medical school first, and then you choose a specialty. Uh, you can have a, you can be a surgeon. You can have many different uh, specialties, but one of them is psychiatrist. Psychologist, you can be a scientist. You can be a, a practitioner. You can be a therapist. You can be a counselor. You can be a school psychologist, and so on. So they're not really the same thing, although they sometimes overlap in their goals. One area of psychology that's often taught in colleges is scientific psychology. And scientific psychologists uh, study behavior and mental processes in laboratories. They do scientific experiments. And then they write the reports that are published in journals. And then other scientists can read these journals and learn about these findings and then keep uh, building knowledge about behavior and mental processes in a scientific way. Scientific psychologists do experiments to attempt to discover the laws of human and animal behavior. Also, psychologists try to understand mental functions, mental processes in individuals, as well as personality, and also how people are influenced by social situations. Psychologists also explore the biological and evolutionary processes that underlie cognitive functions and behaviors. To become a psychologist means you go to graduate school. First, you have to get a bachelor's degree. Then you go to graduate school. You take courses in a wide range of fields, including how to do research. That means some math, statistics, um, and also many, many different areas of psychology. Uh, psychology is a little bit like becoming a medical doctor. When you become a medical doctor, the field is so large, you have to choose a specialty. It's the same thing in psychology. You have to choose a specialty. So there are many, many different specialties. In fact, the uh, American Psychological Association has 54 separate divisions uh, that people can join. So there are many different, uh, if you meet a psychologist, you have to say, well, what kind are you? clinical or scientific. Clinical means a person who does therapy or counseling to help people have problems with their emotions or their behavior or their uh, cognition. Uh, a scientific psychologist does research, usually works for a university or maybe um, a government agency or maybe a nonprofit, sometimes a corporation. Scientific psychologists have laboratories where they do research. But if, if you ask a psychologist, you know, what field are you? Well, scientific, well, yeah, but which, which area of science? Because it could be experimental, it could be developmental, it could be neuroscience, uh, it, it could be cognitive. There's many, many different fields. Well, you're probably getting the idea now that there's many, many different areas of psychology. The word psychology is a big, big word. If uh, someone says they're a psychologist, you have to say, well, what kind are you? There's so many different kinds. You can study many, many different areas like personality and child and cognitive, uh, forensic, which means uh, legal stuff, clinical, comparative, meaning comparing uh, with uh, other animals. So comparative psychologists study uh, lower animals biological, developmental, abnormal, and many, many more. So psychology is really, really a big subject. If you want to become a scientific psychologist, there's a huge number of topics you can study.
Here's one way to look at it called the five pillars of psychology, these five different areas that you can go into. One is the biological, second is cognitive. Cognitive means something like thinking. A third, developmental, how do people develop? Fourth, the social and personality factors. And then fifth, the mental and physical health. So clinical psychologists emphasize more the mental physical health, whereas scientific psychologists might spend more time in the other areas, especially maybe biological. Here's another way to think about uh, different categories or subfields or perspectives in modern psychology. So psychology is very, very huge subject and people tend to specialize, sort of like being a medical doctor. You kind of have to specialize, you can't know everything. And so some number one specialize in uh, Freud's point of view, which is called psychodynamic. Uh, and then secondly, there's the behavioral approach, which uh, looks at uh, behaviors of animals and try to figure out laws of behavior. Third, the cognitive approach. Cognitive means mental stuff. So you're studying attention and perception and memory and thinking. And four, the biological approach, which is very, very big today, a neuroscientific approach. And then fifth, cross-cultural, where you look at different cultures of the world and how psychology is different from one place to another. And number six, evolutionary, that is, we look at how humans have evolved over long, long periods of time to have certain mental operations like language, for example, and to have certain behaviors. And then seven, the humanistic group. Uh, this is the group that thinks of human beings more in a philosophical way. Today, psychologists have two professional organizations that they can join. One is the American Psychological Association, always known as the APA, which uh, is the largest and the oldest, uh, has thousands and thousands of members, mostly devoted to clinical kind of information. The other association is the APS, Association for Psychological Science, uh, which is a smaller group and a newer group, but is more devoted to scientific uh, approaches to psychology research approaches rather than clinical. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. I hope you learned a lot about psychology and it got you interested in this field. Perhaps you can uh, study psychology and become a psychologist. Uh, thanks for watching, bye.